Hey, welcome back, episode 4. Hi. Hey, Terry. Okay, my turn to be attacking the tower. I roll a 13, which is, I can tutor a card to my starting hand. Mm. So By the way, Terry is attacking this yeah. tower. That's correct. Here you go, guys. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, not only you guys know, and Terry knows. I shall start, so I draw a card, I lay a land, I lay the first bloom. Oh, I confirm this is the card. This is the card, this is the card. I am done. Untap. Nothing to untap. This is a tap land. Go. I'll draw for my turn. I'll put a land, play, and I'll cast. Sorry. Go. Hey, sorry, sorry. Are you sorry to put Simic Simic down? I'm done. Really done. Okay. <laughs> Draw for turn. I will play a jungle hollow and the battlefield tap. Gain one life and end my turn. So on my turn, I will reduce one suspense. Draw a card. Tap one black mana. Floating. Lay Rectos Carnation. Card will bounce to the hand. I have one floating mana. I shall discard Jaya Balat in my cleanup phase and my end my turn. Attack draw. I play a myriad. Let's skip. Done. Untap. Upkeep drop. And then for play. I'll float the one colorless and then for three mana I'll cast memory erosion. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, the player mill two cards. And then that floating mana with one green, I'll cast Farsic for the six swarm and put the battle field tap and Farsic with the dog. Okay, okay, go. Go. Okay, a forest and end my turn. Down one, so I left one suspense. Draw. Slowly my red landscape. End my turn. Draw. Poor exotic and done. Draw. Land for turn for Sanskrit. They are here called Sanskrit. Command Tower. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did we hear for some <laughs> Oh, for some screen. That's great. Okay, okay. Command Tower! Sounds great. <laughs> oh, like, why would you play Kosan screen when there's nothing? <laughs> I passed my turn. With so much mana. Yeah. And they have a case draw. I will clear out and skip. Look for two basic land and put it into play. I will play a planes, then for a turn, I will tap for three of any color to play Bonders Ornament. Memory erosion triggers. Please Memory mute erosion two. triggers, mill two. And my turn. Upkeep. I can now cast Locus Blue. Triggers memory erosion. I will mill two. Okay. Then I will draw a card. Mm -hmm. One See, time. Fana yeah. is on okay. my landscape and get two basic land. Then like I will end jewel. my turn. Yeah. Bro. I'm uh, sorry, I'm not destroying this. Uh. Okay. You, you're not. I will play a secret plan because memory illusion. I will to play a trail of mystery that will trigger memory illusion again. Yep. Go. Giving a more turn. Okay, nothing to untap. Draw. Put a land for turn. Swap swap pause the restless tomb. <laughs> nice pronunciation. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll cast Avatar of Vogue. Pass my turn. Draw. Play a uh, canopy vista. Enter battlefield untap because I control two or more basic lands. To so tap Bonders ornament. To draw a card and nobody else controls this, so only I will draw a card and end my turn. Draw a card, cast Critic, Son of Yakmo. Trigger on Memory Erosion. Yeah, I shall new two. New two card. Pay with my life, which is 6. Sacrifice Lotus Bloom for Black Mana, so I have total 3 14 Black Mana. Can I have a uh, You can change to red. Mm. I can change to red, uh, mm. okay. I guess I should change to red. Mm. Then I will cast Anje in. Mm. Then I minus two life. And because it's black, I get a plus one plus one. Tap. 
to discard Goblin with close. And because I discard Goblin with close. Sorry, uh, when you cast Anjay, there is a summon. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, for Anjay. Then, then I should draw a card. I will play Goblin with close. So I use my 4. Then because this came in, another 2. Yeah, memory erosion triggers. So next, I shall tap to discard a card. Call the Nether World. Mm -hmm. And because he has Madness, Anjay untapped while I draw a card. U using the Madness, which costs zero, I get to call a black creature from the graveyard to my hand. Mm -hmm. Memory erosion. At the same time, I mill two cards. Mm -hmm. Bone back to my hand. Tap Anjay to discard Anjay Ravager. Draw a card as I discard. Because it has Madness, it untaps. And I shall use a uh, Madness cost to cast for it. You miss Kerrick's trigger yes. on your call to Nether World. Then Anjay comes to play. And this one. Trigger's memory. Oh, oh, I shall play yeah, my land. And my turn. So, I'll play Exodron. So, when Exodron comes to play, all other non token creatures is turned face down. Memory erosion will trigger. Exodron's uh, power and toughness is equal to all face down creatures, which is fine. And go. I'll keep draw. I'll cast Red Cell, the Ryzen Deep. Remember, we need to kill someone other than Terry. Okay, so. okay, okay, got it. I got your hint. So I'll go to my combat, declaring face down creature to attack Victor. I will take two, thanks to Ryan. And You're one, welcome! One. <laughs> and untap, draw. Lay a mirror landscape, enter the field tap. Cycle, street rough by paying two life. There's a trigger on memory erosion. Cycling is still a spell, right? No, cycling is an activated ability, ability that you can only use while the card is in your hand. So I draw a card to play Nikara. Moving your number. Yes, I will mail two. Draw can manifest. And my turn. Draw a card. Pass. Bone Trigger a memory erosion. Ah, and end my turn. Draw. Boss, you're up. Memory erosion. Yeah, memory erosion trigger. Uh, play. My first morph using Cardena's ability for free. Trigger Cardena ability. Draw a card. Trigger Trail of Mystery to look for a basic land. So, Extra drawn goes to 6 because this is a face down feature. Mm -hmm. Go to combat and swing my extra drawn at Victor. I will take 6. I will suspend a Veiling Oddity for suspend counter. Then go. Oh. Can I mute for this morph card? Morph did not. Yeah. I'll play my land for turn. Combat. Because we have a deal with Terry. I can't attack him. This 2 2 is swinging to Victor. Rexia is swinging to Ryan. Rexia have Island Walk and Swamp Walk, so I cannot block. Yep, I cannot block. You're not declaring block first? No. Okay, please take two. I cannot block, so okay. I'll take five. So there's a trigger on Rexia. Whenever uh, it deals combat damage to a player, I may cast target instant or sorcery card from that player's graveyard. I'll be choosing Hex, six target creature. Um, one. So second main phase, I'll use Rexia's ability to cast Hex from Ryan's graveyard so I can choose to destroy 6 target creatures. So the first target creature that I'm going to destroy is Exidron and Nikara 3, 4, 5, 6. I will I cast Mimeo in my second main phase. Why did I kill this? <laughs> <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for Mimeo Plasm, I will take the ability of Sky Fire Phoenix, so it has flying and haste. And for the power, I will take a Thieving and I'll go. And I'll pass my turn. Draw. To play Grismo the Dread Sour. Trample and at the beginning of my end step, each player creates one creates a 1-1 one, one green plant token. And whenever a creature token dies, Put oh, plus one plus one on Grismo. And my turn, one one plus. Draw a card, pass Magnus of the Will. Because I pass Magnus of the Will, I shall give two cards. Right? Wait, I cast this. This trigger on. Memory erosion, previous. Oh, yeah. And I shall end my turn. He reminded me. Upkeep, building oddity, suspend counter drops to three. Then play, play my first morph, trigger memory erosion to mill two. And I will tap 2 to fit into Mirror Landscape. After the milling, I will trigger Cardina. Then I will trigger Trail of Mystery to look for land. Swamp. Say go! Draw. 
Eyeliner Eyeliner for the swamp I'll go to combat this face down creature Tutu and Rexia to Victor and Mimeo Plasm which is flying to Ryan I have respawned but I want to cut you a deal Let's say this two is going to you and I can save you 7 damage Would it be helpful? What deal do you want? Kill berries first Signing with the devil <laughs> We have to kill him her first She is strong you are strong too mm -hmm. in bouncing things back. Mm -hmm. You can say no. Okay. Hmm. But you can't do anything. Sorry, time's up. I leadership vacuum. Target player returns each commander they control from the battlefield to the command zone. Okay, remember you. Okay, this one. I draw. So this is return to my hand. You oh. blocking this to die. Yep. There's a 3 3, so this will die. Yep, so I'll take the 5 And second main phase, I'll cast search for tomorrow from Rixia's ability from Victor's grave Okay, so I'll search for a basic land and put it into the battlefield Not tap Not tap I'll cast Artisan of Kozilek I will target, return target creature from my graveyard to the battlefield I'll return our tower <laughs> yes. And I'll pass my turn Draw the uh, Celestia sign 3 Bouncing back uh, planes Play my Catalysmic Gear Hulk Triggering memory erosion. Catalyst make Gilhawk enters the battlefield. Each player chooses an artifact, a creature, an enchantment. Planeswalker amounts then control and sacrifices the rest. So you keep one of each category. So I guess, thank you. So, sacrifice this. So I will choose a uh, Grease Mole. Uh, so I will have to sacrifice my plants and Catalyst make Gilhawk. So that will give a plus one because uh, a creature token died. So that is my trigger. Okay, uh, my mm -hmm. trigger. You have to kill off the plant, which gives me plus two. My trigger, I will morph this face up. So when this is morphed face up, choose to remove two time counter from Veiling Oddity. It will trigger when it's turned face up. So I will choose to sacrifice secret plan creatures. Uh, the plant will be gone. So plus one again. Time bender is gone. Cardena goes to my command zone. For enchantment, I'll choose Memory Erosion. For Artifact, I'll choose Soul Ring. So, Simian Signal have to go. Uh, for Creature, I'll sacrifice the plant. It's me plus 4. Yep, and I'll choose our Tower of Four to stay. So, Rexia and uh, Cosmonite will go to my graveyard. Not your bot. So, I will tap 2 to evoke Shrek Maul on your Moth. So, please move to Go to combat with Grease Maul, attacking Ryan. That will be a 7 and my turn. Draw card, pop Exis Reinventor. Uh, memory Erosion first. Yes. Okay, so, so I'm going to card. Up mm. 1, draw a card, minus 1 life. And my turn, it's got a card. The upkeep Veiling Oddity will come into play. I will remove a time counter, so the, when the last counter is removed, creatures can't be blocked this turn. This first. So, then I will draw a card. Play a Thornwood Ball to play Road of Return. I will entwine it and I will mill through. So I will return commander to my hand to return a uh, Suvan shapeshifter. So this goes to my hand, cast Kardina, and uh, I will mill through. I will play my first moth of three and I mill through. That will trigger Kardina and also trigger Trail of Mystery. So I will look for a land. Then I will draw a card for Kardina. Land for Trail of Mystery. My creature can't be blocked. Attack, attack the person with the most health. Mm. I'll take 2 8 okay. cards I will discard the card okay. Go Draw I'll cast okay. Mimeo Plaza for my hand I'll take the ability of Artisan of Porcelain And the ability of Rexia So Mimeo is a Swamp Walk, Island Walk Okay, I'll pass my turn Draw Play Unbreakable Bond Trigger Memory Erosion, Memory erosion. I will return target creature from my graveyard to battlefield with a lifelink counter. Desecrator hack for lifelink. And when it enters the battlefield, I will return to my hand a creature with greatest power. And amongst my creatures, the greatest power is 4. Between Catalysmic Gearhawk and Revel Up, I will choose Revel Up. Ozov Basilica <laughs> to bounce a swamp. Combat on Ryan again, my favorite is 7. And draw a card, up 1, minus 1 life. Draw a card, so lay a land, plus overseer of the dam. When it comes to battle, I may destroy target creature. But you need to trigger memory yes, erosion. So memory erosion happens. Destroy target creature. I shall destroy the strongest target creature. Mm. Maybe? Yes, maybe. Okay, on the stack, 
I will tap our tap Since you touched my board, I will need to do something to you, right? So I will destroy an uh, overseer of the dam. Yep. Draw. Then play my first morph for free. It's morphing time. Morph, uh, I will mill two. Okay. And I will trigger Cardina to draw a card. And to destroy your trail of mystery. So, um, in response to mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. I will morph my Suvan shape shifter face up. Mm -hmm. Then I will copy Avatar of War. Can. Okay, then I will tap to destroy target creature. Can. Destroy. Play uh, another morph. Yeah. I will mill two first. And draw a card from Cardena. Then I will go to my combat phase and swing at the person with the most health. I'll take what's the total damage. I've got no blockers. 3 commander, 4 normal, so mm. it's uh, 7. Down to 31. Draw. I'll lay a land for turn. My main phase, I'll cast Mimeo from the command zone. From Ryan's graveyard, Powder wins. And uh, for the ability, I'll swallow Sago Mowler. So Mimeo has Trample and Hex Growth to cast Brawl. And I'll cast my turn. And draw. Land for turn to cast. Grab a luck. And it's a flying creature when uh, it only triggers when it leaves the battlefield. So I can return two up to two target creatures with power two or less from my graveyard to battlefield. Mm. Nice. You can mill first. And I mill one. Hopefully you get a creature. Grace Mole, the Clarion Attacker on Berries. Okay. There's a 7-7 seven, seven trample. 7-7 seven, seven trample. Yep. Okay. Uh I'll block with Bron. Okay. So you will take 4. 4 trample damage over? Yeah. And moving on to my main phase 2. Ron is in my graveyard. So and you control a forest? Yes, and I control a forest. So creatures I control have trample. To play Yannick, entering the battlefield to exile another creature that I control, which will be Revel Up. And Revel Up has a power 4, and I can distribute out to plus 4, plus 4 to my creatures. No, I'll give it to Yannick for casting Yannick, I mill 2 and at the same time, because Revela left the battlefield thanks to Yannick, uh, I will put 2 creature cards power 2 or less from my graveyard to the battlefield so I'll be choosing Splinter Fright and Clockwork Hydra Clockwork Hydra has a trigger which is it comes in with 4 plus 1 plus 1 Splinter Fright Power is based on the number of creatures I have in the graveyard. So it is a 8-8. Eight, eight. Yep. And that's the end of my trigger. I end my turn. I draw a card. Also up of Nixis. Minus one life. Draw a card. Cast Gunyak Pale. Exile up to 5 Pale creatures from Graves. Yep. Did you trigger Memory Erosion? No, then it also counts with creatures that you can exile. For mm -hmm. well, mine is our Tower of Bow and Brawl. So I'll choose Exertron, our Tower of Woe, Swap in a Strap, Overseer, Chainer. I choose Berries. <laughs> Are you sure? Me? Yes. Wait, two pounds. They, they separate or you separate? They separate. Why not choose me? I'll give you the card you want. I will give you our Tower of Woe. <laughs> you don't have to give him, you will choose our Tower of Woe. <laughs> it's what, uh, what comes with. Oh, it's a very good card, sir. This two pal. Okay, I decided this shall go to good yard. <laughs> Our top of the wall. This two comes inside. Okay. Uh, as it's a drawn and touch better if you turn all non token creatures face down. Coming. This one coming first. Yeah. This one coming. Yeah. Top top. And turn. Take a land. The more this card. I will copy it's a drawn. So it is also an 11 11. Okay, Terry, I can eliminate your enemies for you. I just need one round of immunity, protection from you. I will kill your enemy for you. You know what he's gonna do, right? He kill one of us, then he's gonna aim for you. You want you you, you have to choose wisely, you want to be killed by Ryan who has an 11 11 or both of us that is kind of at a There's no more 11 11 if, if they they two die. And you got a battle of go. <laughs> you just need to give Terry me protection for one round. Come on, Terry. 
Ryan, I'm going to trust you on this. You always trust Ryan. What's new? You always <laughs> team up with Ryan. What's new? <laughs> I gain one round of protection. I will play Overwhelming Stampede. So all my creatures get plus 11, plus 11, and trample, trample. until end of turn. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is 22, 22. Everything gets plus 11, plus 11 to my uh, combat phase. Memory fates. illusion for Stampede. Okay, we'll cool. I declare attacker this way. This one attacking you, this one attacking you. Okay, so I'll go first. I'll block with Mimeo that is face downwards, 7-7. Seven, seven. I'll block, block this more. It's 19 damage. You want to help Terry, right? Yeah. So if you want to help Terry, I think my opinion is to we can block with Suwan because he can morph and I'm morph down again to copy uh, Awata of Woe to destroy. No, but I creatures. can't. Um... There's 22, right? Can you gain block 22? I cannot. You cannot. Then no Only choice. if Terry helps, then I can. Only if Terry taps to destroy. Summoning sickness. We got to damage. Yep. Okay, so Cardena will die. Then Victor exits the game. Okay, that's why. Okay, that's why. I will play fast 6 for my main phase 2. Look for a land. Put into the battlefield tap. Then you could say go. I'm alive, I'm alive. <laughs> land for turn. Will you still want to team up with him? I don't understand why. <laughs> But now you don't want to team up with yeah, anymore. To recast Mimeo Plasm out from my command zone. When Mimeo Plasm enters the battlefield, I'll choose to take the power of uh, ability of Overseer of them. So flying, when uh, this creature enters the battlefield, I destroy target creature. And whenever a non-token creature and opponent's control dies, I will create a tap to two black zombie. And for the power, I'll take Soul of Innistrad, so it's a 6-6. Six, six. So when this comes into the battlefield, I'll be targeting um, Avatar of Woe. Destroying Avatar of Woe. So this is destroyed. Back to my graveyard. Uh, I'll get a tap zombie. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, and I'll pass my turn. I'll keep draw a card. Later, I shall sacrifice Obnixis. I use up his card loyalty counter. They both are bloody same. <gasps> Wait, I have protection for you, so you are going against the zombie. It's just not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. you uh. No, I, have, I say protection, I need to attack. Oh. But you can you can break the zombie. You can do that. You want to do that? <laughs> it means I'll attack you. So this dies, right? This dies. I shall tap to set, put a basic land into battlefield tap. I have been betrayed. <laughs> Call 100 in. Upon you tapping your mana, there's a trigger, trigger on memory erosion. <laughs> This is the most valuable memory erosion. <laughs> yeah, we, are, we are, totally don't care about it. And my turn. Uh, end step, I will tap. Morph this up. So when morph up, I will destroy target and channel. And tap. And at upkeep, I will choose to put this face down. Then I will draw. Then when I draw a card, I lose 2 life. I will declare 2 creatures to attack berries. I'll be blocking... None to co. Tap can play Pyro Mass Mutation. So all my creatures get plus six plus six, which is eight. Yeah. Wait, so sorry, uh, pass priority on mm -hmm. uh, Pyro Mass. Nope. With the trigger on the stack, I will tap two to morph up the Suvan Shape Shifter to copy Mimeo Pleasant. Damage resolve? Yep. Nice. Your Mimeo Pleasant died, right? I can create a tap zombie. Yep. Yeah, then I'm done. Draw a Terry, okay. I have kept my end of a bargain. Despite you using your obstacle poker at me. Tap to discard Mavalon Whisper. Draw a card. Because it has madness, you are tapped. Sorry, and when I... you draw a card, there's a trigger on uh, this emblem. Huh? Right, yeah, whenever a player draws. Mm. And even in your draw phase. So I just thought I will lose two for your draw phase yeah. and another two because it's draw. Yeah. And I cast this. And I shall cast on this one. The D control. This is mine. Plus another two. I saw one thing to say, there's a trigger on memory erosion. <laughs> <laughs> God damn memory system. erosion man It's in my system man It's like Ristic study round 2 Tap To discard Fairy Temple Because I, I tap to discard I draw a card mm -hmm. He has madness He untaps I will take 2 because of your And I will emblem. tap this Because for the madness cost So 3 damage to this. Uh, Then I shall lay my land I So whenever a creature dies You can clear a tap Tap from this then I shall cast my Nuzori, each of us sacrifice a creature and enchantment from this state. Come on, Terry, so close, so close! Go to combat phase. But, I have a... Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I, I take the team. 
There's no way to get rid of emblems, right? Is it a permanent? It's not even permanent. Not land permanent. You cannot remove it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's stuck with you forever. Th that's why it's a very powerful I thing. I end my turn. <laughs> I, I will draw for turn and... Oh, Omnix kill me! 